Mark, you are the perfect match for Mita. I could tell his feelings were just as strong and not just because you have this Bama, Ohio, now maybe a little bit of Connecticut accent, which pairs quite nice with Mita's New York and sometimes Wisconsin. We don't really know where that comes from. But it's also because of your shared love for travel and the finer things in life. I am confident in saying that you two will continue to build a beautiful, exciting, and happy life together. Mark, thank you for loving my best friend as much and if not more than I do. Thank you for treating her with all of the kindness and respect that she deserves. I'm so thrilled for the two of you. Congratulations. Cheers, everyone. Um, I just got dealt the best hand of siblings anybody ever possibly could. Uh, Meter's the best sister you could ask for. She's sweet, she's kind, she's responsible, she's motivated, and there's nothing she wouldn't do for her friends and family. I simply never had to worry about her. And I'll share one example of just how sweet and kind my sister is. She was about seven or eight. I was in high school. I was pretty cool. <laughs> Mita got me one of the most thoughtful gifts I ever received. I didn't think it was thoughtful at the time, I just laughed. Come to think of it, it was pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Um, so unlike my sister Megan, who's a human calculator, um, her brother is not the sharpest bulb in the drawer, if you could follow. So Mita took it upon herself to go to the school fair and spend her hard-earned allowance, well, her allowance, um, on a top-of-the-line calculator watch <laughs> and she gave it to me for Christmas Now I laughed uh, when I got it and honestly I've made fun of her for 20 years for it um, but when I look back I, I really think about the person Mita is and how excited she must have been to pick out that Casio uh, calculator watch at the school fair and then how excited she must have been to watch me open it so to honor you today Mita I'm wearing a brand new <laughs> Casio calculator watch. So if anybody has any math problems they'd like me to solve, any debates you want to settle later, I'm your guy. We come together not to mark the start of a relationship, but to acknowledge and strengthen a bond that already exists. This ceremony is a public affirmation of that bond. 
And as their dearest family and friends, it is our honor and privilege to stand witness to this event. This day is made possible not because of your love for each other, but through the grace and support of your family and friends. Mita and Mark, we have heard your promise to share your lives in marriage and the honesty and sincerity of what you've said and done here today. And in the accordance with the laws of the state of Rhode Island, it is my honor and delight to pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Mark's biggest task is turning the propeller, a role he's known for as being quite stellar. Who knew he'd have to move to New England to find such sweet solace in a tremendous young lass named Mita Wallace? <laughs> Still more. <laughs> An afternoon at Porky's, something caught Mark's eye. He immediately knew he found the girl he couldn't let slip by. An introduction by Mike Manzo left Mark with a thought, maybe if I'm lucky, she'll agree to tie the knot. No amount of golf or Alabama football could keep his mind from running, constantly thinking of the girl from Seymour, who he found quite stunning. Much to his delight, they soon became a well-known pair. She the high school teacher, and he the submarine extraordinaire. Mita swiftly cast a spell that must drive him loco. Hell, he's even got two dogs, Leo and Coco. <laughs> it's easy to say Mark found the joy of his life and a woman he knew one day would have to be his wife. Here we are together as that day finally dawned to witness their love, an unbreakable bond. It brings such pleasure to see them in this state of bliss, no doubt punctuated by that of marriage's first kiss. May the love in your heart never lose its spark. And with that, I raise a glass to my dear friends, Mita and Mark. Woo!